Aren't you supposed to be a genius or something? Look, one, two, three, four. Five. Hi, I'm Mike Simmel from fxguide.com for Wired. With half a billion dollars in its opening weekend, the park is very much open for business. Jurassic World is set to be the biggest film of the summer. As the name would suggest, we're back amongst the dinosaurs, with ILM delivering both old friends and some new, pretty evil enemies. To get the subtle performances, ILM decided to go heavily into motion capture, which is kind of an unusual choice given the size and shape of, say, the raptors. I mean, you typically use motion capture to add realism, but the performance artist couldn't even physically stand the way a raptor does for any length of time. If you really dealt with it from a company side as big as ILM, where you can, you can do a lot of noodling afterwards on it to make, get things to work, what is the advantage of motion capture? You know, is there, is, even is there one? Well, there is, and it's the complexity of the motion. You can get far more stuff going on than could ever be animated by a great animator, and you can do it for many shots with many characters. It'll give it a look you haven't seen before. I think it's really set a bar, a new bar, a higher standard. And when I see the dailies on it, it's like, I have not seen anything like this before. You know, they look like they're heavy. They look like they have a life to them. They, they, you know, the skin is actually moving over the bones, and the bones are moving under the skin. What's most impressive is how ILM's team managed to retarget the motion capture performances to these vastly differently shaped models and not lose in the process the subtlety and the high frequency detail of the original performances. We actually cast um, four people here that were the raptors. So every time we needed to do blue, this person would show up. So in terms of the retargeting, you know, each person kind of leaned over a little bit differently or put their arms in a slightly different position. And knowing that person, and how to retarget that to that particular raptor was really the key. To add to this work of the animators and motion capture artists, on top of that, there's a very detailed and extremely important layer of time consuming complex flesh simulations, which give the, especially a Dominus Rex, believable movement. Well, believable for a genetically engineered, camouflaging, 40-foot long hybrid dinosaur hunter. Don't forget to subscribe for more behind-the-scenes action. I'm Mike Seymour for Wired.